Let's see here. This is definitely a uh, quirky one. Uh, hi there. Um, I'm not sure if you can understand me or if you're cognizant, um, but I'm Dr. Smith and uh, I'm going to be your key supervisor for uh, all intents and purposes. Okay. Talking to a bull. Right. Well then, uh, it's rather dreary in here. No offense. I'm sure they don't give you a lot of opportunity for decoration. Let's just get started. Um, starting audio log 001. The date is July 19th, 2023. This is Dr. Smith. Today we will be looking at SCP-330. Object classification is safe. Though just to be extra safe, I did choose to wear some safety goggles today. And I'll get to more into that shortly. Um, Alright, a quick rundown of the debriefing of SCP-330. Special containment procedures are as follows. Considering recent incidences, SCP-330 is to be kept in secure storage until further notice. Right. Level 2 clearance is required for access to SCP-330 and its contents. All direct experimentation SCP-330 is to be conducted using a Class D personnel with no genetic history of diabetes. No more than exactly two. Two samples are to be removed from SCP-330 at any time except during exposure testing. Great. Now for the description here. SCP-330 appears to be a small, round, stainless steel bowl filled with a variable amount of individually wrapped pieces of candy, which I can confirm here. It seems to be individually wrapped. It should be also noted for the record that I did not take any candy. I was just looking to see which candy was the contents of the bowl. And the bowl does appear to be stainless. Now, moving on here. Hmm. Taped to the side of the bowl is a handwritten note reading. Take more, take no more than two pieces, please. And I'm just going to verify that here on SCP. Mm, yes. Take no more than two, please. Attempts to remove the note, hide, or obscure the note have failed. Testers have noted it impossible to avoid reading the note. No matter what angle they approach. Oh, that's quite fascinating. So no matter which way you come at SCP-330, the note should appear to you so that way you have no choice but to read it. Fascinating. I'm going to test that theory real quick. Mm-hmm. 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 This does seem to be the case for the audio log. Quite fascinating indeed. Now, when a quantity of candy greater than two pieces is removed, regardless of the means involved, 
The offender instantly has both hands severed at the both hands severed at the wrist by unknown methods. Okay. Inspection of the incision reveals that the cut is made at a molecular level. It is to be noted that the third piece must be removed within a certain time frame. After 24 hours, the count resets. An additional candy can be removed. Quite fascinating. Now that we have gone over the containment procedure and description, I'm going to go ahead and get started on taking a few samples, not just of the candy, but of the bowl and stuff as well. I'm going to start by putting on some gloves here. You don't have any allergies to like latex vinyl, right? You can't respond. You're losing it, Smith. Yeah, you're losing it. But I mean, at this point, can anyone really tell me that? That would be weird if the candy was cognizant. Take a look at the contents here. Now, it didn't say if you could remove one, look at it, and then place it back in the bowl. Part of me wants to test that, the other part of me doesn't want to lose a limb. So I'm not going to test that today, but perhaps someone down the line could test that theory. Today, I'll just go ahead and grab a piece, and we'll go from there for testing purposes. Okay. First one here. And I can confirm that I see the label. I'm going to go ahead and test this piece of candy and then I will bring back my second piece of candy for testing in the lab. So I'm just going to open this up here. It appears to be some sort of sour blue raspberry candy for the log here. There's a very sour blue piece of candy. Almost more sour than uh, I can handle. Right. And 
then I'll bring back this piece of bubble gum for testing in the lab. So at this point, I will not take another piece of candy from you. I may have to look at you, but I will not take another. So this will come back with me for testing purposes. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just get a sample of the outside of the bowl and one on the inside of the bowl here. So what I'm going to do is put a couple drops of this solution. I'm going to place a couple drops here on the one, two, three, four, five on the inside and one, two, three, four, five on the outside. going to get that rubbed on here and then we'll wait a couple seconds and I'll grab a sample. So we just brush that in here. There we go. Being extra careful that I Have any problems doing, Dr. Smith? None at all. Just going to get that all brushed in. Good, 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 okay. Okay. That should do it, dear. Good, 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 good. Just make sure I get the outside. All brushed in. I'll give it a couple seconds to dry. Okay. Use my light here to help speed that drying process along. Okay. There. Let me just dust it real quick. Make sure it's dry here. Good. All right. Now 
that our sterilization solution has appeared to fully set. I'm going to go ahead and grab a sample here with a cotton swab and bring it back to the lab for testing. I'll go ahead and use one Q-tip for the inside and one Q-tip for the outside. So, let's go ahead and start with the inside here. So, I'm just going to swipe around here. Place that in my bag here. And I'm just going to go ahead and get one from the outside there. in here. While I'm at it, I'm going to place my candies in here as well. Surprisingly, you should do it. If this was a rather quick and should, do I dare say easy process. Um, yeah, so ending audio log 001, I am taking the specimens back to the lab for testing and I'll report back after I have. Alright, well then. This was a rather smooth examination. I must thank you for that. I don't get a lot of those often. I'll be very careful not to take a third piece of candy from you, and I hopefully next time can get more, and this time maybe I'll avoid the uh, sour candy. Yeah, not for me. Anyway, I hope you have a good day. Uh, if that's something you do, all right. I will speak to you soon. Take care. Nothing. I'm just expecting something to happen because that's kind of how things go here. All right. Have a, you, you have a good day.